What is going on, guys? Grave here. They'd like to talk about how a lot of people in the community are talking about the Elder Scrolls Online and how the game has kind of become toxic between the PvE and the PvP community. Now, of course, this is going to be my opinion, so you may feel differently, but in my honest opinion, I don't really feel that the game has become toxic. Uh, I have my reasons. One of the biggest ones is I have played a lot of different games besides just ESO. I have played every single Battlefield and Call of Duty title that have ever been made. I'm used to playing first-person shooters. I, I'm I'm not exactly the youngest person in the world. I'm not old, but I'm not young either. Um, and I have been around a long time playing first-person shooters. I've been around a long time playing video games. I mean, just for an example, I played my brothers, uh, two, my two older brothers, Atari, when I was a kid. So I've played video games for a really long time. Uh, but when it comes to first-person shooters, I have seen a lot of toxicity when it comes to FPS games, especially Call of Duty or Battlefield. And I have seen a lot of stuff be, being said, being done, teabagging, whatever the case you, whatever the case you kind of want to go with. And I don't consider ESO to be anywhere near as bad as some of those games. I do understand why some people consider it to be toxic. There are a lot of PVE players out there that are very helpful, but you're also going to find in PVE or PVP, either one. Uh, players out there that just kind of want to talk down to you, uh, kind of talk trash to you, tell you you're no good, you don't know what you're doing, whatever the case may be. But from my experience, and of course, like I said, this is just my personal opinion, but my experience, most everyone that I have come across in the game is helpful. Uh, I, from the open world to in-game PvE or PvP, most people have been very helpful. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to come across your random couple folks that, you know, just want to talk trash in pvp or just don't want to be helpful at all when it comes to end game maybe trials or something like that you'll get i've been around groups i understand it i have been in trial groups have known people that are just do not want to be helpful that want to talk down to new players that don't really act like they want to help new players but for the most part in my opinion once again i just don't see the community being that toxic because most players that i know want to be helpful they will go help players do things you know that maybe more difficult for a newer player to get into maybe something a newer player technically shouldn't be in a lot of people say that no you shouldn't be in this but i know a lot of people out there that will help new players just do whatever it doesn't really matter uh or if they need some advice about something they will be very helpful and help them go farm things and like i said you're going to come across some random folks within in-game pve in-game pvp the open world that may want to be rude that may want to be you know not helpful that kind of thing the best thing about the game is you can block them so that's one thing i would always recommend if somebody's actually bothering you block them and report them you know that that's kind of shouldn't even have to be said but it is what it is now that that's kind of the world we live in so if somebody's bothering you definitely block them and report them but when it comes to just the toxicity of the game in general i don't really feel that the game is anywhere near uh, some of the toxicity i've seen in first person shooters like i said it, everybody's going to be different everybody's going to have a different opinion on this like I said, I've just played shooters for so long. I've seen and heard a lot of stuff that, in my opinion, is a lot worse than what I see or hear in The Elder Scrolls Online. But that being said, know that you're going to come across some toxic individuals here and there, when, especially when it comes to in-game PvE and PvP, or maybe just the open world. But believe me uh, when I say this, there's a lot more helpful people out there than there are harmful. And if you ever need anyone to kind of help you out with anything on console, on PS4, that is, or on PlayStation at least, I do have a guild you can join. A lot of helpful people in there. A lot of people that will give you advice. They'll talk to you about whatever you need within game. So just give that, kind of keep that in mind. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.